Yo guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video, and I am here to show you right now how to solo the Ice Titan. Actually a shockingly easy thing to do. Um, I think of the three, it's probably the easiest in my opinion to solo. I guess you can use the Quetz with the Desert pretty easily. However, the uh, snow is pretty easy. So what happens, obviously, you end up in this boss arena, and you'll see that he's right there. There are Perlovia, literally everywhere in here so you want to be careful about that now one benefit about him he does not fly as you can see he can jump really well actually he jumps really really well <clears throat> but what you want to do is you want to save as much health as you can on this guy and in order to do that I should probably turn the music down let me do that real quick all right sorry about that I forgot it's so loud in here but what you're gonna do is actually pretty simple you're literally going to get yourself on a griffin like you'd see me on right now. Get a uh, fabby sniper. It doesn't even have to be that good. This one obviously is really good. Uh, 567. But this is a 253 to show you it doesn't have to be very good. And all you are going to do... <clears throat> see the little purple glowy things that he's got on him? You're just going to hover up in the sky and shoot that. Now, basically you want to hit him as few times as possible. Because the more you hit him the more damage he takes and the less health he has in the long run. Now, <clears throat> the reason I would suggest using a Fabby Sniper doesn't necessarily matter the level, because no matter what, he is going to take damage um, when it comes to, I think the good way, or I guess the nicest way to put this is, the more you hit him, the more damage he takes, and the less you get to use him, which is not, not ideal, obviously. Oh, not what I wanted, obviously. Make sure your griffin is pointed, <coughs> excuse me, pointed towards this guy and you want to make sure you just destroy this crystal now it doesn't matter how high of a level your anything is no matter what I think I just told you this but basically no matter how many times you shoot this thing it's one damage per bullet no matter what gun you use you could use a simple pistol if you wanted to I like this <clears throat> because it gives me the scope access and with the scope basically you can just ping him really easily and basically what we're looking for is uh, this one to get destroyed. He'll grow another two, one on his back. You can start to see it starting to swirl a little bit right now. <clears throat> he really is an easy boss fight. I know that sounds kind of weird, but he's way too easy. And da -da -da. this is probably getting pretty close. Come on now. There it is. You just saw it pop right there. See how it's gone on his heel? Now you'll start to see one on his back. Now you can rotate. You want to avoid hitting him. So this one can be a little bit tough. Um, but obviously with the griffin, because he can't hit you, <clears throat> you're just going to move over to... Come on now. In front of him. Now he will aggro to something on the ground almost always, because he literally attacks everything. I wish I was kidding. I'm not. He literally attacks everything. It can be a pain in the butt because he does his little, like, lifty, jumpy thing. But fortunately for us, um, as long as we are sitting here pinging him, it doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. Come on now. I'm going to try to avoid hitting his spikes, which I have done a couple of times accidentally. Thankfully, you can see he doesn't lose too much health. But um, a couple of tricks that you could use for this boss fight, if you do not have access to a decent Fabby Sniper, um, really the only reason I have a decent one right now is because I want the durability. Even a regular one does the same amount of damage, one per hit, one damage per smack. Um, <clears throat> I would use like a simple pistol and put a scope on it, just the six shooters, because those are actually quite effective. They shoot fast enough. I don't want to use a long neck because long necks take a long time to reload, and you want to avoid that. Oh, hello. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and attack me. That's cool. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I've never seen him jump that high before. Oh well, I guess. <clears throat> so he will just hang out down there. Um, you obviously want to try and find it, so... Uh, oh boy. Sorry, I got a little cup of water here too, so I can avoid getting super thirsty, because there's a lot of talking in this one. Um... <clears throat> just keep moving around. He will literally attack everything, so it's okay that you move around a little bit. Um, you just want to stay out of his attack range, because he does a load of damage, an absolute load. 
Come on now. Are you still aggroed to me? That seems a bit ridiculous. There we go. He's attacking a wolf, I think. So, just keep pinging these crystals. This is the second one. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was a big jump on his part. <clears throat> so obviously, as you can see, we are just moving around to avoid him. He's got his little ice thing going on right now. He hit me pretty hard with that. So I'm going to avoid that for a minute. Now we are high enough up where he is not aggroed to us, which is a good thing. That's what we're trying to do. Now the only thing that really is difficult in this boss fight is that it takes time. It's, it's a slow process. Um, because you want to be as safe as possible, obviously. I'm wearing desert armor because, I don't know, desert's my favorite and I've got some decent desert armor on official anyways. But you, oh, see that red? I don't want red. Okay, come on now. <clears throat> no red. Man, it's being a pain in the butt. There we go. You can see that I got the purple on that one. You want purple. No red. <clears throat> purple is good. Anyways, you literally just keep following this guy around, and the awesome thing is he's only got three crystals. That's it. So as long as you can get all three of them, it is really not a difficult boss fight. All right, come on now. Oh, that was a red. Come on, give me this. Stay there. That's a perfect position. Keep attacking that mammoth or woolly rhino, whatever it happens to be. Oop. I dinged him a couple of times on that one, as you saw. And you just want to avoid doing any damage at all, because the more damage you do, the less health he has, the less time you keep him. So, we're just going nice and easy. You can see where it starts to do that like extra spinny thing. When it spins more and more, <clears throat> it means you're getting closer and closer. Come on now, buddy. There it is. See how it popped? Big thing you want to do, bring a parachute, whistle, follow, and passive. That way you don't... I made that mistake and totally forgot to do that. Um, but that's a good time to say it. Uh, make sure you've whistled passive on him. And obviously you can see he is attacking other things now, so that's opportune. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. See the crystal underneath him? And this is the hardest one to hit. Um, because you don't want to avoid his horns. Too far horizontally. Hmm. Okay, got to get closer, I guess. <clears throat> Come on now. There it is. See how I'm just sitting here. Got to get near his chest, which is the unfortunate side of things, because now he's coming towards me. I would assume he's coming to attack me, which is no bueno. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and avoid him. And just keep doing this over and over. We're going to go ahead and go over here. There we go. Alright. Give me that crystal. Trying to avoid hitting him there. Now, obviously, one of the big things you've noticed so far is the mistake that I, I totally forgot. I do this all the time. But um, <clears throat> basically, what you want to do is make sure your tame is on passive. That way, in case he does manage to nick it. My goodness. Where is he going? Um, then you don't have to worry about taking damage and your tame flying off and causing this whole boss fight to be a wash. Now, obviously, the more you have, the better you are. But, um, can't do damage from this far away. <clears throat> and we're just going to keep... Where's he going? Interesting. I don't think I can do damage from this far away. Let's try this close. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. How did that count as a... Whatever. But you can see it's starting to get a little bit of a twirl going. So we're getting there. It's just a process. <clears throat> um, oops. That was not what I wanted. 
Obviously, shooting him from the side is not the best tactic for this last one. The last one's also the most difficult by far. Um, trying to be in front of him is a good way to do it. There's not really a tame you can use that can tank him either, which is kind of the crappy thing. Oh my goodness, he went back to where I was. Of course he did. So you want to try and stay in front of him. Uh, moving around is always a good idea, but you got to find a way for him to be looking at you without him aggroed to you, <clears throat> which is kind of the most difficult part. Uh, what? I just got over here, bro. Come on. What a turd. Okay, maybe I'll be able to see. No, I won't. All right, so the only way to access this is from a good angle on the side or directly in front. I would... Oh, my goodness. He's just, like, walking away from me. Like, whenever I get to a spot, he's like, ooh, I'm going to go somewhere else now. Jerk. Can I get it from here? Ooh, I can. I don't think he's even coming for me, is he? Oh, he is. <clears throat> Did he just miss? Or is he going for those, like, rhinos and things? I think he's going for the rhinos. Oh, yeah, he's going for the rhinos. As you can see, that thing's almost dead down there. And obviously, just try and avoid his uh, frost and all that stuff so he doesn't freeze you in place. <clears throat> We're just going to keep moving. Alright, it's almost gone. You can see the super swirls going on right now. Come on. Come on. I'm going to try and aim for the base of it. That's a safe bet. Oh, I hit him. Come on. He is currently attacking a dire wolf. Come on. Not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> so, we're going to try and move in front of him while he attacks these dire wolves. Access to that crystal. There it is. Getting it. You after me? You're after me. So I'm going to drag him over these creatures over here. <clears throat> oh, he wants nothing to do with them. How about this mammoth? Nice juicy mammoth, huh? That sounds pretty tasty. see there it is as you can see I'm accidentally hitting him a couple of times trying to avoid that but you can see it's starting to get the super spin going and that's what we're looking for we really want the super spin because that means we are super duper close probably a couple more shots and we're there and again I suggest the fabby sniper simply due to the fact that it does a whole heck of a lot more uh, time saving things just because you basically can reload eight bullets and shoot eight instead of the long neck where it's like one two three oh he's close he's getting that super spin going oh not what i wanted come on buddy where's he going it's like running from me now, yes, I understand this griffin is a high level, but I just wanted to show you. You could easily do this with, like, a, a decent level with really good stamp, because you're not attacking anything. You're not soaking anything, really. Um, all you're trying to do is just keep in the air. You will be able to land. There's, there's no time limit, so that's the nice thing. Okay, come on now. This is ridiculous. He's just, like, running now. He's being a scaredy cat. And then I'm going to get all the way over here, and he's going to turn. I know my luck. Yep, he turned. Lovely. Uh, I dinged it a couple more times, but you can see it's really starting to spin now, which is what we're looking for. 
really come on. Here we go. We're super close. This should be the last series of bullets, I think, if I can hit the purple. <clears throat> Again, we're to the side. We want to try to avoid that. Oh, that's not a bad angle, though. If I can actually hit the angle. How is that not hitting him? Oh, well. Let's go ahead and go underneath him again. Get the move going. So, I've done a little bit of damage. You can see about 5 to 10% of his health is gone. Not ideal, <laughs> obviously. Um, but it's still a Ice Titan. And Ice Titans are great for raiding people. Where are you going? Stop running from me. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a good angle right here. It's a really good angle, actually. Is he stuck? Because that would be opportune. You can see it's getting that super spin. Come on, we're close. Come on. Some more ammo here. He seems to be like stuck on this, whatever it is. So I'm okay with this. I've hit it a bunch. You can see it's really starting to turn now. We're getting there. <clears throat> oh, come on. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Last one. Come on. This is the clip. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that this is... Yes. So check it out. So as you can see, that third crystal is now gone. We can land on top of him and claim him. He will provide you with a saddle, which is super nice. I usually just hop on. Tame Kaiju. Super sweet. Boom. As you can see, this is the Kaiju. <clears throat> he is now ours. So what we're going to do... I'm going to go ahead and jump. You can see his abilities are super sweet. Now... That smash, the right hand smash, if you uh, click, he will do his little frost breath thing, boulder throw, and then his tertiary attack, as you can see, is that frost breath, super awesome, freezes things in place and there's nowhere they can go. Now you can see his stats, they are going down real quick, um, his food, not bueno, um, but obviously as you can see, good overall titan. Um, about half health right now, which isn't great. I mean, there's much better. And the reason these things are, I guess, great to use is they do a lot of damage. So I'm just going to walk over things and destroy them. Um, but obviously, as you can see, not that difficult. Um, what they do is they take damage over time. So basically, the more damage you do to them, the less damage and time you have with them. So hopefully this video helps you out. And, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I love the Ice Titan, so... It's a lot of a fun tame, I suppose you could call it. It's a super nice thing. Other than that, Teacher's Game 2, out.